If you live in the U.S. or if you grew up in the U.S., then no doubt you have Thanksgiving images that fill your mind in this season. The Norman Rockwell paintings of the rosy-cheeked children gathered around the giant turkey and over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house and the grateful family all gathered around the groaning board. It's a lovely image and for some of us it's even what Thanksgiving looks like. And for a lot of us, maybe not quite so much. Thanksgiving, it turns out, can be just a little bit complicated. Maybe it means getting together with family that you don't necessarily get along with so well. Maybe it means a gathering of people where someone you loved dearly is no longer present. Maybe it's gathering in a place that doesn't feel really like home because the place you feel is truly home, your childhood home is no longer available. Or maybe the place where you grew up is where you returned for Thanksgiving and it never did feel like home to begin with. Thanksgiving and all of the connections of family that it involves is complicated. And maybe that's just the way it should be. After all, the origins of Thanksgiving are complicated in their own kind of way. The story of Thanksgiving is a beautiful story of people coming together across differences, about the native Wampanoag who are willing to help the white settlers who managed to get them through the rough winter when so many died, to get to this point of celebration of harvest and hope and continuance. It's true and it's lovely and we know that things didn't really go on so very well for the native people of the United States, what was to become the United States. It turns out that the white settlers found themselves a new home and the native tribes mostly got kicked off of theirs. It's complicated and much of it very, very ugly. That's Thanksgiving for you. So what to do? How to handle this mixture of connection and love and abundance and thanksgiving and trauma and hurt and loss. Well, of course I don't have the answer for you, but I do have some tips. Call them suggestions. They might work for you, they might not. Meg traditionally gives you three ideas about what to do about something, but for this special occasion I've got five. So here goes five suggestions for embracing the complexity that is going home for Thanksgiving. Suggestion number one, let go of expectations. It might be that everything will go much more smoothly than you had imagined. Could be that Uncle Joe has stopped drinking. It could be that things will go much worse than you imagined and the turkey will be dry and your sister will be critical and everything will feel ruined. But you know what? It's just a day, just an evening, just one little block of time in a series of ongoing blocks of time. And if it doesn't go so well, you know what? You can always invite people over for some other dinner and have some better time. You can enjoy your turkey sandwiches with whoever you want to enjoy your turkey sandwiches with some other time. That's just a day. Number two, embrace comfort. Recognize the things that make you feel better and honor them. Enjoy them. Give your permission to move fully into the extra whipped cream on your pumpkin pie, time spent with the children or with your grandmother, a comfy chair. Move into those things that make you feel good and notice that they make you feel good. Settle into those places of comfort. Number three, look for places of connection. 
And we all know there are people with whom it is very hard to find those places of connection. Those people with whom we do not discuss religion, and we do not discuss politics, and we do not discuss our heritage, and we do not discuss a whole variety of things. But rather than moving into the drama of touching on those uncomfortable, rocky places, try to find the places where you can connect. Maybe it's asking about someone's vacation to France, or maybe it's asking where is somebody's favorite place to go for a bike ride or a walk, or maybe it's asking about a favorite restaurant or a favorite recipe. It doesn't have to be profound in order for you to connect. But if you come in prepared with some ideas about where you might be able to make that connection with those people who are going to be at your Thanksgiving meal who are hardest to connect with, there's a little more opportunity for that sense of home to grow. Number four, set limits. You can even set the limit of saying, you know what, this year we're just not going to be able to come for Thanksgiving. We're going to be doing Thanksgiving here. You could do that. But if you do gather for a Thanksgiving meal, you are also fully entitled to say, you know what, my weight and my eating habits are something that I'm really comfortable just dealing with myself. I don't think I need input on that. It's okay to say, yeah, you know, how we raise our kids is clearly different than how you raise your kids. That's true. It's okay to say, I understand how you feel about that. And then say, you know what, I need to use the restroom. You could put a little box around things and say, nope, not going to go there. Thank you very much. And find ways to gracefully and gently step away. And number five, perhaps the most important, move toward those places where you really do feel at home. And maybe those places are only in your mind. Maybe the place of home is a memory. Maybe the place of home is a person who might or might not be at your Thanksgiving celebration. Maybe the place of home is some place you've never been, but you have a sense of. Maybe home is a feeling that you get when you're running or dancing or singing or sitting in your favorite chair. And in the midst of what can be Thanksgiving chaos, it's okay to go there. Maybe not literally, maybe just shut your eyes for one brief moment and center yourself down in wherever, whatever feels like home. Knowing that there's a place for you. And maybe you haven't found it yet. Maybe it's not here in the room. But knowing that through this day and through every day, you really are finding your way home. Happy Thanksgiving.